it real. Women of all body types want breast augmentation. That includes the CrossFit crowd. So how does that change the procedure for you when a woman is fit or has extra muscle? Well, I think with the CrossFitters, it's a bit of a conundrum in that these women tend to be lean and mean without much to speak of in the way of breast tissue or body fat. So they're the type of woman that you might be tempted to put under the muscle. But that's also a problem because these women are engaged in levels of exercise that some of us might consider unreasonable. We worry about animation, but probably even more importantly for these patients is the loss of upper body strength, which obviously the implant under the muscle is going to do. My personal go-to for this type of patient uh, is to try to put um, a cohesive silicone gel implant over the muscle. I'm a big fan of over the muscle anyway, subglandular implants, because of animation deformity. A certain amount of them do want to be a normal size, but there's a lot who want to be way bigger, which I don't really necessarily understand personally that you want to look lean and mean, but also want to have a large breast. But I agree, the new cohesive gel implants, whether they want an a anatomic shape that looks very natural, or they want something more round that looks unnatural, we can give them a, a breast that isn't ripply, that looks good without having the animation deformity. It's important to realize that there are actually different levels of CrossFit, you know, some more crazy than others. You can have a conversation with a woman saying, what sort of movements do you do and what is your level of competitiveness at CrossFit? because honestly, some of them might be better served by putting the implant under the muscle. In a woman who has low body fat, I, you have to go under the muscle and they just have to accept you are gonna have animation deformity and the thicker your pec is, the more animation deformity you're gonna have. For the very latest on breast augmentation, visit theplasticsurgerychannel.com.